Anchor Tom is literally in the midst of the jungle, and there's an incessant chorus of crickets adding their bit to the atmosphere of the place. The structure's all asking the imagination, what was I like 900 years ago? We're walking to see the Bafuan, part of Angkor Tom, connected by a long, elevated eastern approach that's 200 meters long and supported by short, round columns that form a bridge. At this point, I call them to look below to see what we were walking on. I suppose they walked below when it was raining and above when it was flooded. Just imagine what this was like. The buildings not just stone upon stone, but ornate, complex. The architecture and design stunning. Multiple stories high, not looking like a box standing on end, putting shame to our modern creations that are so functional and boring they border on being tedious. Stephen sits atop the columns. The buildings intricate, interesting, and fun to explore. Initially dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, in the late 15th century, the Bafuan was converted to a Buddhist temple. In an attempt to rebuild it, 300,000 carefully labeled and numbered blocks were classified across 10 hectares surrounding the temple but the Pol Pot War interrupted the rebuilding of it. The second phase to restore the temple took 16 years to complete in what became known as the largest 3D jigsaw puzzle in the world. In April 2011, after a total of 51 years of work, it was completed. Indeed, a remarkable achievement the reclining Buddha part of it. Every now and then we took a break to read up on where we were, get rehydrated and rest a while. Observe the tall strangler trees that now strangle many of the buildings. Whilst it was great to explore, it was very hot. We soon finished our water supply and I distinctly remember coming across a small stall that was selling water and feeling like a desert traveller who had just come across an oasis. On the one hand, it was a taxing experience but always rewarded our efforts with spectacular and fascinating sights.